Hello, welcome back to Three Angels Gospel Ministries. Roy Farr here with you, looking forward to presenting another wonderful message here. And we're going to be going back to the book of Revelation. We started a study uh, a year or so ago and never got to finish it here online. So I wanted to get back to that and finish that study of Revelation, the book of Revelation. What a powerful, powerful book. And I don't, I don't know of a, a book that's more important for the times in which we're living in. Amen? And so I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting into this message. And I just wanted to tell all of those who've been following our channel, if you're we're hoping to see us on the live streams, we've had some technical difficulties with that. So we're kind of we're kind of revisiting that a little bit. We may have to get some other equipment or something, but um, hopefully we can resume that at some point. But for now, we just want to focus on getting out as much content as we can, good Three Angels Gospel content for you, our, our viewers and our subscribers. We're so thankful for you being, each one of you being with us here today for this study. Continuing on in verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. Now we're going to look at that more in just a minute. What does it mean to be sealed? If we look that up in the Strong's, to confirm, authenticate, place beyond doubt, no question whatsoever, to prove by one's testimony to a person that he is what he professes to be. So this is a situation where you are completely, firmly founded upon this platform of truth, the rock of our salvation, Jesus Christ, and you're not going to move. You cannot, you cannot be moved. You cannot be thrown off this horse, if you will. You're on the white horse and you're not moving. You're firmly planted in the truth. So that's what that is talking about there. Now, Continuing on, what is, is the seal of the living God, which is placed in the foreheads of his people? It is a mark which angels, but not human eyes, can read. Everybody can't see. There's not going to be a literal mark on your forehead. But the, the angels can see it, and the destroying angel must see this mark of redemption. Now, many of you may be saying, no, Roy, the seal of God is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the seal of God. So many people say that. Well, I know where you get that from. You get that from Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Whereby? What does that mean exactly? Well, let's look it up in the Strong's. In the Greek, it's number 3739, orke omahi, which means who, who, which, or what. So it could also read, or should read, who by ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So the Holy Spirit is the one that does the sealing. He works through a multitude, millions of heavenly angels that are going all over the, the earth here and are working on men's hearts, leading them and directing them to a closer walk with the Lord, directing and guiding their paths to the Word of God so that they can be filled with the Holy Spirit. And in doing so they make right decisions righteous decisions because because they are hearing that small little voice behind them saying this is the way walk ye in it so that is how the holy spirit works in order to save us and to seal us and help us to make right decisions in our walk with the Lord. Very, very critical. But that is not. The Holy Spirit is not the seal of God. He is the one that does the sealing. Okay now Let's back up a little bit and look at what, what is so important about being sealed. What is coming that's, that's, that's actually already happened and that will happen very soon. We want to make sure that we're sealed so that we don't suffer the consequences of what I'm about to go over with you here in Revelation chapter 6. This is a part of the study the last time that we didn't quite get to. So we're going to look at, we're going to back up and look at this here because it's very relevant to what we're looking at right now in Revelation 7. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Even as a fig casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. We're going to pause right there just for a second and talk about this a little bit more. This is the sixth seal. 
Now there's only one more seal that's going to be opened and released, just one more. And we're going to get into that, hopefully by God's grace, in our next study. It's going to be powerful. So in this sixth seal, what happened when it was opened? There was a great earthquake. The sun became dark. Remember darkness? What is that a symbol of? Final message of warning, right? And uh, the moon became like blood, and then the stars fell from the sky. What happened here? Some of you may not realize that this has actually already happened. That's true. It's actually already happened. Let's look at it. Let you know that if you're interested in following Three Angels Gospel Ministries, you can do so at the following um, platforms there, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Uh, also, if you would like to if you would like to contact us, um, you can contact us through our website, threeangelsgospelministries.org. And also, I highly recommend that you go on there from time to time and check in and uh, see what's happening there. Uh, you can also call us, the phone number is there, and email us at 3agm at 3agm.org. Now, um, we also want to thank you so much for your prayers and your financial support. And um, we have these new ways of contributing, if you will. Yes, you can, uh, you can use Cash App or Venmo or PayPal, or you can, you can send it to us at our P.O. Box. Um, you can do a check or a money order, however you like to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm.